Hey guys, so iOS 18.5. This software update has now been out for exactly one week as of the filming of this video. And as per usual, I always like to come back and share with you guys my experience so far with Apple's latest update. Now, iOS 18.5 was released on May 12th. Today is May the 19th, so exactly one week. And there's a few things I want to talk about in regards to iOS 18.5 a week later. I want to talk about the possibilities of another small update, perhaps iOS 18.5.1 could be released here in just a couple of days. We'll talk about that here in just a few seconds. But I also want to talk about some insight information that I've recently got on my iPhone under the battery section that I see more users also reporting on. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first thing I want to talk about is some interesting insight and suggestions under the batteries category on iOS 18.5 that I got last night and this morning. So about a week after updating my iPhone, which I thought was kind of interesting. Now, if you go into your iPhone settings, right now and you head on over into the battery section you may see some insights now this section will give you any type of information that could improve battery life or have a negative impact on battery life and thermals on your device now right now you see that I have auto lock suggestions and of course I also have auto brightness suggestion that's because I turn these two options off to film videos here on YouTube once I'm done filming I turn it off that way I don't have any weird screen distortions when filming now these do disappear after I'm done filming because I do re-enable them however last night as I mentioned six days and seven days after updating to iOS 18.5 I got these two additional insights and suggestions and take a look here. The first one says your iPhone has been used more than usual since upgrading iOS, which may affect battery life. Now I have to say battery life has been pretty solid for me. I haven't had any issues. So the second prompt I found to be a little more interesting because as I mentioned, I updated this iPhone on Monday the 12th and I got the prompt just last night and this morning. You see here updating finishing in the background. Why would the update continue to finish now? six days later i thought that was kind of interesting you see here all right here it reads as follow you can use your iphone as you normally would while a recent software update is finishing this could take a while battery life and thermal performance may improve once it's finished now i haven't noticed any overheating when charging or when using my device i haven't noticed any performance issues so i thought it was kind of interesting to see this prompt a few days after updating to iOS 18.5 now as i mentioned i've seen other users also see this prompt so i want to ask you if you go into the battery section of your iPhone right now are you seeing any of these two prompts on your device under these insight and suggestions for battery section here on your iPhone settings so let me know in those comments down below I thought that was kind of interesting because everything is running buttery smooth in terms of performance, control center, launching and closing applications, animations, everything is buttery smooth. My experience has been pretty solid as well as battery life has been pretty solid on the latest iOS 18.5. So let me know what your experience has been like over the past seven days. Now the possibilities of iOS 18.5.1 are definitely possible. Apple last year released iOS 17.5.1 to add additional security patches and bug fixes so we could see the same thing happening this year now we do see another small software update ios 18.5.1 that could happen perhaps the last week of the month or the first week of june keep in mind that apple's main focus now will be ios 19 the first beta should be available on monday the june 9th so we could see another small software update perhaps in a week or two before ios 19 beta 1 to again add security patches and perhaps fix some of these weird weird insight issues that some users are reporting under the battery section. Either way, guys, that about brings an end to this video. Thank you for watching this quick update. Let me know if you're encountering any issues on your device running the latest OS, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.